The little boy in the squeaky shoes is just under three years old and embarking on a mile-long parent-free journey. He walks along this busy road before arriving at the grocery store where he's tasked with buying food and flowers. He then returns home, his first errand complete. The show is called Old Enough with an exclamation point, though some might argue a question mark is more appropriate. It's generating all kinds of discussion. I mean, I raised my kids in bubbles uh, and I, put, <laughs> I protected them and I put up some guardrails, but I, 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 I would not do this. Japan is very different than the U.S. Neighborhoods are more pedestrian friendly and the culture is more trusting of kids. In Japan, parents chaperone their 10 and 11 year olds on just 15 percent of trips compared with 65 percent here. One episode shows a three-year-old crossing streets on her own to deliver her dad's lunch to his job. Another shows a toddler navigating public transport. On social media, newfound fans are calling the series adorable, sweet, and the most wholesome thing I've ever seen. Some parenting experts think American audiences can learn from the show. It's a little nerve-wracking to let your kids go, but when you do, they will just impress you. There are people who are critical of this. They say this is irresponsible. We have crime in America. Our neighborhoods are not laid out the same way. What do you say to that? If you're telling kids that everything they do is they're, they're incompetent, they're in danger, watch out, they need us all the time, that might explain why kids are so anxious and depressed. Old Enough takes many steps to keep the kids safe with camera crews and safety teams always nearby. When darkness falls on one girl, the crew intervenes, lighting her way home. Netflix recently dropped 20 episodes ranging in length from 7 to 20 minutes. They're short episodes. It has not released any stats about the show's popularity. A big question, if it is popular, might producers in America try to create something similar here? One challenge, of course, would be finding a place safe enough to actually do it. Back yeah. to you guys. Mm. Yeah. Depends where you live. Well, yeah. and you know, Gotti said he watched it and he said they don't have like a big camera crew. They have like a purse cam. So the okay. child is not aware okay. that there is somebody following them. But they them. are they're watching But they're the watching kids, them. Yeah. Yeah. When we were kids, I was yeah. about seven years old. My yeah. parents would send us to Goody's Luncheonette with a note. Please give Al a pack of cigarettes and a six-pack of <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and you've been doing it. And they were doing this. The good so, old days. Yeah, it was, that was the old, <laughs> the good old days. Times have changed. Yeah, right, just well, the, a bit. The debate continues on today.com. Everyone has an opinion, so you can let us know if you would let your kids do something like hmm. this. All right. Okay. Bail, <laughs> can you come? Yeah, to exactly. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.